This is the new Echo Show 5 and part two of my series diving deeper into it. In this video, I'm gonna do some sound comparisons next to the other Echoes I have. Hello tech friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Craig. I love making tech videos and this is part of my weekly Echo series. This is week 26 of 2019. You can find the rest of the series in the description along with links to anything I talk about. In case you missed it, the first video in the series was a look and impressions of the Echo Show 5. In the description, I'll have that video in a playlist for this series. The next videos will include screen comparisons between the other Echo Shows and going over the new features this device brings. This video shows how the Echo stacks up against the other Echoes. Hopefully, if you own one of the other Echoes, this comparison will give you a better idea of how this Echo Show 5 sounds. Before we start the comparisons, here are my initial impressions of the sound. This has a single 1.65 inch 4 watt speaker that is about the same size as the Echo Dot 3rd generation. But unlike the 3rd generation Echo Dot, the Echo Show 5 sound comes out the bottom. I don't know if this is the best choice. The Echo Show 5 sounds good, but I think the high end is a bit much at louder volumes. I especially noticed this on a hard surface. The sound comes out the bottom and bounces off the surface. Most of the audio sounded like too much high end. When you pick up the device, the sound seemed a little more balanced. For me, I had to pull down a little of the high end and up the bass to nearly full in the equalizer to get a more balanced sound. This device may sound better being on a stand. It may raise it up and balance the sound a little more. I'll have to get one to check that out. First, let's listen to the audio across the three devices that are closest in size and sound. My microphone is in front of me and will give you an idea of how these sound when facing you. I have all the echo set at 50% volume and the equalizer is just set so it's balanced in the middle. Before I get started, here are the specs on each. This is the second generation dot. It has a 1.1 inch speaker and uses a total of nine watts of power. This is the third generation dot and has a 1.6 inch speaker and uses 15 watts of power. The Echo Show 5 has a 1.65 inch speaker and uses a total of 15 watts of power too. So let's listen first to the Echo second generation. Not much volume out of this. Definitely tinny, not a lot of low end in it. Let's switch to the other Echo Dot. Definitely a lot more low end out of this one. A lot more balanced sound. So you got that bass, it's pretty good. Now the Echo Show. And it's got pretty good bass for little speakers. When you start to get in those higher volumes, it gets a little more ear piercing. Let's turn it up. Let's try another song that has some vocals to it. We're back on the Echo Dot second generation. Very tinny, no low end, not very good. Now, let's go to the third generation. Sounds pretty balanced out of this one. And to the show five. And it's pretty good. It's a nice sound out of it. Let's just turn it up and see if you notice that high end. Something we never felt before. Yeah, I don't mind. Take my time. Let's stay in this bed now. That's where I start to notice it gets a little too much high end bouncing off this surface right here. I do notice on this side of the speaker, it sounds a little more balanced out. Let's see if you notice. I'll start playing music on it and then raise it up and see if you could tell the difference in the sound. See, it just kind of bounces out better. See it in your eyes. You want to see them more. When it's raised up, it definitely has more balanced sound to the Echo Dot third generation. So 
That's compared to the Echo Dot. So let's get this one out of here because this sounds terrible. This is before I think Amazon realized the value of putting better sound in these speakers. Next, we'll compare it to the full size uh, second generation Echo. The second generation Echo Show has a separate 2.5 inch woofer and a 0.6 inch tweeter. It definitely sounds better with its down firing speaker. This speaker in the Echo Dot third generation really distributes sound to the side. Like I said before, this one shoots down. If you were to cover the bottom of this, you pretty much don't hear anything out of it. So let's try playing some music again. We're starting off with the Echo Dot third generation. Good sound there. Here is the Echo Show. Definitely pick up that higher end as soon as the sound song starts. Full size Echo. You hear that bass out of it, that's nice. Let's go back to some vocals. I am impressed. I think this is the best bang for your buck for audio. Here's the show. So let me show you what I can do. Pick up. I don't mind. If you cover the bottom. You get nothing. I feel like you get more volume out of these but you get a more balanced sound out of the Echo. Here's a little classical music. We'll start with the Echo Dot third generation and then show and then full size Echo. I don't know if the down firing was the best choice for this. I almost feel like with the back how it is, maybe an upwards firing speaker might have been better. I don't know. Uh, it's, I'm sure they explored all different options. But it sounds pretty good for music. Now let's look at it compared to the other Echo shows. Both of the other Echos have two speakers and a lot more power. The first generation Echo show has two two inch front firing speakers. The second generation Echo Show also has two two inch speakers, but they're side firing. And it has a passive bass radiator that really helps fill out the sound. First, we're gonna listen to audio from one of my videos. So you get an idea of how it sounds when someone's speaking. I'm not gonna go through YouTube on here and try to call it up that way. So first we'll start with the Echo so first generation. Up, take a look at it. I will say before I do open it, I realized this was going to be a small screen echo, but look how small we'll this is. We'll switch to the show five. Yep, we have the echo show. Let's set that aside for now. Paperwork. We don't need that. The things to about it is you are able to set it up without having to use the app. Let's do an overview of the features, starting with the basics. You can get a deeper dive. At the end, I'll go over some improvements and better utilization of this. A deeper dive of those features will come later in the series. Now let's do some audio comparison between them. We'll start with the first generation Echo Show, go to the Show 5, and then go to the second generation Echo Show. Echo Show 5. The second generation Echo Show. First generation Echo Show. Show 5. And second generation show. Uh, these definitely have better lower end to them. But what I found interesting was when listening to a spoken video, I almost found like it was clear out of this. So maybe this is a device better suited for watching videos because of the mix in it and the lack of low end. Uh, just an idea there, I'll have to play with it some more. In my next video, I'm gonna be doing some screen comparisons and we'll hear the audio as I play some of those videos to test that 
screen out. Overall, I like the sound out of the Echo Show 5. I think it's clean and it has good volume out of it. It does need some equalizer adjustment to pick up that bass and to maybe lower a little bit of that high end, especially if it's going to be on a hard surface because it seems like it just bounces that high end off of it. Uh, it may also be better served with a stand. So I'm going to try out a stand and see if that improves the audio. Maybe compare it next to a dot again. Also, you have the option if you really are concerned about a more balanced sound for music, you can always hook up a better speaker using the 3.5 millimeter output. I think it's a good device for casual listening to music. I think it's better for video and spoken word media. Audio books would be great on this. Um, those are my thoughts. I hope this was helpful and gave you an idea of where this lands in the Echo lineup. What do you think of the sound out of the Echo Dot 5? Do you like it? Is it missing something? Let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button. To see more videos, subscribe and hit that bell to get notified. You can help support the channel and see additional content with the Patreon link over there. You can check out the rest of this year's series over here. Also, you can find Amazon affiliate links if you want to buy any of these in the description. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.